Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to yet again another video. In this video we're going to be reacting to something that actually one of you guys, one of you guys right there, suggested which was uh, to react to American National Parks. Now I have skimmed through a couple, a couple of videos and this one is by quite a popular channel, uh, Watch Mojo. we've all heard of Watch Mojo before. This is called Mojo Travels. Uh, again, I will be linking the original video in the description down below guys if you want to check that out. Uh, you can do that, and before we get into this reaction, I have to quickly state that 94% of you guys who are currently watching my content are not subscribed. So it means the absolute world to me if you do want to support my channel, if you hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell, so you know exactly when I upload next, which at this point is every single day. Now, without further ado, let me just click this real quick, and let's go. Pack your camping gear, because after watching this video, you're going to want to hit the road. That looks amazing. Welcome to Mojo Travels. Whoa, today beautiful. Today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 best nap. The Grand Canyon does look like a sick place to go. But then again, I'm not very, uh, I'm not a fan of heat. National parks in the U.S. Are you a fan of our videos? Be sure to subscribe to Mojo Travels. To and me. ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. You heard them, but same thing for me, please. <laughs> for this list. We're looking at America's 60 national parks and picking our favorites. Number 10, Rocky Mountain National oh my Park God. in Colorado. In Colorado. That looks amazing. For the first park on our list, we're going to head to beautiful Colorado. Just a short drive from Denver, Rocky Mountain National Park is possibly the best place to go if you want to really explore the Rockies in the U.S. The terrain wow. in this park is vast and varied, taking up approximately 400 square miles. There are alpine lakes, flat tundras, and of course, the glorious peaks of the titular Rocky Mountains. The wildlife in this park is one of the main attractions as well. As of 2015, this was the third most visited national park in the country. Wow. And we totally get why. That is pretty cool, but you can definitely see why. The place looks beautiful. Number nine, Grand Teton National Park in Wyoming. You know the song, Home on the Range? It starts with the line, oh, give me a home where the buffalo roam, where the deer and the antelope play. Well, it may very well have been written about this. That almost looks like, like a painting. That doesn't look real. That looks crazy. That looks, uh, I would love to be up there. I'm scared of heights. I wouldn't climb up there, but if I could get up there somehow without climbing, that would be sick. <laughs> National Park. You'll feel like you've traveled back to the Old West when you come here. Located in Wyoming, the least populous state in the Union, this park centers around the mountain from which it takes its name. The most recognizable vista is Jackson Hole, a glorious valley that's postcard perfect at just about any yeah, time of year. It does. It looks absolutely amazing. Number eight, Bryce Canyon National Park in Utah. Speaking of the Old West, that's a weird rock form formations right there, isn't it? Looks beautiful though. We head next. So many different types, like shades of color, Bryce isn't Canyon it? Canyon National Park, located in Utah, one of the smallest in the federal system. This protected area only takes up about 60 square miles. But you know what they say? Sometimes the best things wow. come in small that looks, packages. That looks really cool. Calling it a canyon is a bit of a misnomer because it isn't one. It's actually a series of huge natural amphitheaters whose red rocks make for an unforgettable view. Yeah. It's located in the same region as some of the country's most popular parks, but receives far fewer annual visitors, making this an untapped resource that you don't want to miss. That looks amazing. It looks so strange. Number seven, Sequoia oh my National God. Park in California. California, unsurprisingly, is home to some incredible national parks. And the first one we'll talk about that is That is beautiful. The... That reminds me of like a, like a fairy tale type of setting. It looks amazing. Sierra Nevada mountain region. The most popular attraction within the park is, of course, the General Sherman tree, which holds the honor of being the largest tree in the world. Jesus. The forest around it is also home to several of the other largest trees on Earth. Unlike some of the other parks on our list that would take days to properly explore, this one's a great pick for a day trip if you're traveling in the area. Number six, Glacier National Whoa. Park in Montana. At over a million acres, or one and a half million square miles, this national park is so big it reaches into a whole other country. That's right, Glacier National Park is in both Canada and the US. Look at the water, that's so picturesque. That's a with its American position located... It just makes me... All these just make me want to do a road trip around America. So badly. But... Oh, it's, it's insane. In Montana. 
The area has been called the crown of the continent ecosystem and offers views that you'd expect to see in the Swiss Alps more than in the States. As the name suggests, the region was formed by glaciers and there are still 25 of them that exist in the park. Hmm. Number five, Zion National Park in Utah. Utah is home to five incredible national parks, but we have to call Zion the crown jewel of what this state has to offer. The beauty here is otherworldly, and you might just think you've stepped on- Looks like a savannah, doesn't it? Looks like it should be in like Africa or somewhere, like in the middle of Africa. ...onto another planet when you arrive. And even though it receives millions of visitors every year, many consider this park to be one of America's best kept secrets. The red rocks oh, that, juxtaposed yeah, with yeah, the clear sick. water of the Virgin River make for one of the most stunning views in the country. Number four, Joshua Tree National Park in California. Located near the famed Coachella Valley, as well as the town of Palm Springs in Southern California, Joshua Tree is perfectly located for exploring. In fact, it's only a short drive from Los Angeles, making it one of the more accessible parks on our list. The park takes its name from the unique looking trees that are scattered throughout the region. The giant rocks and desert landscape make for a surreal experience. Mm. One that's strong. Doesn't look as good as the others if I'm honest, not my personal preference. More and more visitors every year. It may have only officially become a national park in 1994, but it is exceptional. Number three, Grand Canyon National yeah, Park oh, in Arizona. Insane. Of all the American landmarks on our list today, perhaps none is more familiar worldwide than yeah. the Grand Canyon. It's a hugely popular tourist destination, and for good reason. The canyon itself is spectacular and is often considered one of the greatest natural wonders of the world. While many people make this a day trip from nearby Las Vegas, the only way to truly appreciate everything the park has to offer is to go for a longer visit and actually take the time to hike into the canyon for a multi-day trip. Jesus. Number two, Yellowstone National Park. I really want to go to the Yellowstone. Yellowstone looks amazing. Park in Wyoming, Idaho, and Montana. This park is so huge it actually spans three states, Wyoming, Idaho, and Montana. Yellowstone was the first area that was designated as a national park in the U.S. And many argue wow. it's yeah. actually the oldest national park in the world, being created in 1872. The major attraction that most visitors come to see is, of course, the Geyser Old Faithful, followed by the unreal-looking Grand Prismatic Spring. But aside from these must-sees, the park actually has a lot more to offer, including hiking trails, waterfalls, and a wide variety of wildlife. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are oh, some so honorable, honorable mentions. mentions. Here we go. That looks cool. That looks cool right there. But where is it? <laughs> that rain, that looks sick. This whole video is just me saying, that's sick. But they are, they're amazing. I'm lost for words. We have great sights in England. We really do. Like, it's beautiful, but I... I some of these mountains, I, I've been to Scotland and they have some beautiful mountain formations there and the same in Wales. But I don't know, there's just something just different about uh, all the mountains in, in America. That, I don't know. Number it's one, just... Yosemite National Park. In I've heard of this place, but California. I've never seen it. It's not easy to pick one park to sit atop this list, but Yosemite's raw natural beauty makes it hard to imagine anything else at number one. Located in, yes, Central California, just a few hours from San Francisco, the Yosemite Valley and surrounding cool. areas comprise the most stunning landscape in the country. Sites like El Capitan, Half Dome, and Yosemite Falls have become iconic, and the park is popular with hikers, climbers, and adventurers for good mm. reason. If there's one... Yeah, imagine like getting a mountain bike and renting it out and then taking along these uh, the trails and that. Oh, that sounds amazing. National park you should visit in your lifetime. We're going to just say it. This is the one. Do you agree with our picks? Check it. Well, I don't live in America, so I don't even know what I'd pick else. But yeah, no, that, they look amazing. Honestly, it'd be my absolute dream to do a road trip around America, visit... Not all of them. I don't, I don't want to go to all of them, but... There's a lot of them that I would love to go to, and they just, oh, they look amazing. They honestly do. And you guys, you guys should check out some English ones as well. If you want me to react to that, then be sure to let me know down below. Again, if you do have any suggestions, or if you like the video, if you want to share some thoughts on what I've watched or anything, I will probably give it a read if you leave it down below in the comment section. And yeah, without further ado, I will end the video here, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, and yeah, before I end the video, I just have to quickly say that 94% of you guys who are currently watching my content are not subscribed. So if you do want to support the channel, if you do enjoy what I do, it would mean the absolute world to me if you hit that subscribe button.
subscribe subscribe button and the notification bell so you know exactly when I upload next. Yeah, I hope I hope you're all having a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.